Good morning, mamas. Wherever you are and whatever you're doing, be encouraged and get excited because Good Morning Mama starts right now. Good morning, mama. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> um, we are going to talk about fully releasing and letting go of our problems and our worries to God, which is very hard for me. So Rachel's going to teach about it. <laughs> going to remind you to really teach because I'm still learning. <laughs> Um, okay, no, God just put this, I guess, in my mind the other day because Games brought me a toy, which moms, you have probably experienced this with your toddlers before. Okay, you can go get it. With our kids, sometimes they'll bring us toys, like Games brought me a toy, and I think it was like a truck or something that was in two pieces, or he thought it was broken, it just needed to be put together. But he brought it to me, and he was just like, fix it, and he was crying about it. But when I tried to take the toy from him to actually fix it, he wouldn't. And he kept saying, no me, no me. And I was like, well, if you want to hold on to the toy, like, I can't fix it. Because he was, like, holding it. So I was like, you have to give it to mommy if you want me to fix the toy. And I was getting frustrated. He kept crying about it. And I was like, what is happening? And literally in that moment, it was like a teachable God moment of he was like, you do the same thing to me all the time. Where we have problems, we have fears, we have whatever it is, you know, um, a worry that comes in our life or even just like day-to-day -day things where we're like, we need help with this. And instead of abandoning those things, surrendering them completely to God, we try to hold on to it, right? Because in our prideful minds, we still think like, in some way, we can fix this. And God is like, no, you're like games. You're like crying about this in front of me. You're asking me for help. You're praying about it, but you're not actually giving it to me to let me fix it. Um, and so it just really hit me, and I was like, yeah, yeah, I do do that a lot, actually. <laughs> like, too much. Yeah. Um, but it reminded me of, um, in First Peter 5, it says to humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, cast your anxieties upon Him, like giving your issues and your anxieties, whatever you deal with, to Him. And when you give something away, like, you can't hold on to it. Like, you have to give it away. Mm -hmm. um, and a promise that stuck with me um, in Psalm 55, King David was realizing that like one of his friends had completely betrayed him. And he was realizing the situation, and we get to Psalm 55, 22. The whole thing um, says, "Cast your burdens on the Lord, and He will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved." So it's like we have to, I guess, in our day-to-day -day issues and problems and worries and all that stuff remember God's promises and know that like as children of God we can give that to thing to him whatever it is in faith and we can rely and count on him to respond and even if we don't see how he's answering it like he will answer it and he will work it out for our good and his glory in whatever way that looks yeah so I've actually got taught this the other day Thanks. that that cast when it's talked about in the New Testament especially when it says to cast your anxieties it's like a fishing term from the New Testament. And so when you're casting, like I don't know if you guys have ever fished, but when you go to cast something, if you just like kind of put, like just kind of do it, mm -hmm. it doesn't work. You have to give it every, you have to give like your all to cast the whole entire net. And they had these, they didn't have fishing lines like what we had. They had these big nets with weights on them and you had to throw with all your might. Mm -hmm. So cast your anxieties onto the Lord. And so that's the same kind of picture that you're painting here that, you know, we have to just, we have to give it over. We can't fix our broken toys. Only God can. <laughs> Can't fix your broken toys. <laughs> Woo! All right. We love you guys. Good morning, Mama. Have a good day. <laughs> Bye. Bye.